All right, we're recording weekend mentoring for October 23rd. Jesus, this month has gone by fast. This month has gone by super, super quick. I don't know if anyone else feels like that as well, but I feel like the past two days definitely fucking made things go by really fast. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. I I definitely agree with that. It's definitely made a lot of stuff go by a lot quicker. Um, So, uh, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. I think how I think how we'll do it um, is just we'll just go one by one like me, Vic, Mm -hmm. and then Tom. That's probably the easiest way just so we can just kind of there's only three of us. So I I mean, there wasn't really that many charts submitted this week that were like, um, you know, as good kind of I don't know how you could say it, but like a lot of the charts were the same place and a lot of the charts were the same mistakes. So like you may be like, maybe we got like 40, 50 charts, but like the majority of the same tickers and the same types of stuffs and and the same types of lessons. So we probably have some time at the end for kind of like a discussion or something like that, just talking or maybe answering some questions at the end. If you stick around till the end, we'll just go through the the weekend mentoring chat and we'll just answer some questions like that. Cause like, that's probably, probably just going to be the easiest way, um, you know, if we make her through. Oh, on mobile, you can split screen. Oh, this guy's probably got a uh, an Android though, so that's probably why. Um, but yeah, all right, let's yeah. get into weekend mentoring. Um, so this is a, a long on on Prague. Um, you know, I mean, there's a couple things about this one. I think one is like not, sometimes at the at the end of the day, you do get those kind of moves that kind of push into after hours and kind of carry over. So that would be kind of the only play that I'd be looking at here. I mean, there's some increasing volume and he he says he thinks that shorts are emotional near the end of the day. So he was going to try and take advantage of that. I mean, yeah, I think it's okay. Like, I mean, it's not really a terrible, it's not a terrible long, but I mean, I mean, it's the end of the day. Uh, you do have a bit kind of higher probability for the stocks that are above VWAP to kind of look to make a run into after hours. But I mean, you got to just say like, if I'm buying this at 195, Like, where is my profit target, right? Is my profit target going to be $2? Is my profit target going to be $2.10? So it looks like the entry was kind of well thought out. The entry was well planned, but the exits weren't weren't really, you know, put into place. It was more of an emotional exit, right? Oh, I'm right. So I'm just going to take it off right away, you know? And and especially when you're kind of maybe in a drawdown period or something like that, um, you know, that might be something where you can get a bit emotional because you're like, man, I'm finally up money. I'm finally green. I'm, I'm going to get a green trade at the end of the day. But you got to be saying to yourself, like, what is your target on this? And what are you going for? Like, are you buying at 195 to make, uh, you know, less, less than 10 cents? That's all I'm just going to say. You know, if the range isn't there, but the setup is there, you know, maybe you might say I'm either going to uh, hold a bit longer or something like that. Cause if you're a short, like there's no way that you're going to look to cover into, uh, you know, maybe 10 cents or something like that. Right. So you, you gotta be really saying to yourself, what are my profit targets? Like, are you getting in a long to make le- like five or less cents? Right. You know, those are be, should be, you know, things that you're asking yourself. Right. Vic. Yeah. Agreed. I, I, I agree. I think the entry is definitely uh, location wise. It's the right place. Right. And for all the reasons that Harry mentioned, you know, late in the day, you get some of these things that just kind of like emotional people who are holding short, they're in a drawdown situation, they're bailing. So that's going to cause, you know, the opportunity for this thing to, to pop up a bit. But, you know, well, late in the day, first of all, for me, it's just kind of a, a non-starter. I don't trade anything late in the day because I don't think it's worth it from pre-market. So 8.30, absolutely, uh, was, was a level where VWAP was holding and you could see, you know, that, that was, that was the trade. That was really the only trade. Um, and then if you wanted to get, try again for the pre-market high of 857, that was the only other area to get in. Uh, and then after that, it's breaking pre-market, pre-market highs. It's making new highs. You're fighting the, the volume and the momentum of this thing, push it higher. There was no reason to keep trying to get short again. Uh, you're above VWAP. There's a whole lot of reasons why, you know, you're, you're, you're just guessing the top really is what you're doing here. You're guessing where this thing's going to stop. You're not looking for any kind of confirmation of a, a death candle or some kind of huge stuff or something of that nature, a real top to form for confirmation that this thing may start to make a turn and roll over. Uh, so I, I, I don't see a whole lot of reasons to get in, maybe make that second attempt. That was it. I'd have been done with this thing at that point and then waited for some kind of confirmation for this thing to come either come over backside 
uh, where later after 1030, you can see kind of rolling over, coming under VWAP. Should have, yeah, that whole area that Joe just circled there should not have even been messed with on the short side. Not mm -hmm. even close. Yeah, and after uh, that red-green move, and this is what Harry was just mentioning here, is <clears throat> if you're going to, you know, this – this wick right here would have been, you know, the first opportunity to really do anything. It's gapping down after one, two, three, four days of green. It's the first day where it's, well, no, it's second day of gapping down. So it, it's a quick low hanger type of move. Like, you know, this is, this would be something that, you know, Tom would probably be all over and catch this quick little morning push. Yeah and then catch the washout back down to this 790 area, and then that's the trade. Now, this right here, it's I mean, it's fine because you're taking the trade based on probably the fact that, you know, it's rallied back from lows all the way back to day high, so it's probably going to have a little bit of a brief intermission, right? It's going to have a moment where it's got to take a breath. I, I like the cover. I think it was a smart cover. It's a good cover. Um you know, the worst thing that could have happened is you, you, you hold and all of a sudden you're stopping out in this red green move, or you're not stopping out at all. And you're just adding until it gets bad because you were hoping that it would go back to low of the day. Right. And <clears throat> so this was the good trade, but this move right here, right. The red green move. And then this, this little tiny candle, this is, I'm going to assume this is a one minute chart, this little pause right here, this is kind of like the brief consolidation where, you know, it's like once it goes green, if it's going to fail, you should immediately see that in the next candle. You shouldn't be sitting here waiting and seeing yeah. what's going to happen. And then this entry right here, you're literally shorting a higher than this wick right here. So like you're going completely and totally counter trend to what is occurring. Like everything that just occurred after this entry right here in this cover has been bullish as ever, yet we're still shorting. So, like, you got it, you got to step aside and wait for it to wait for it to retrace. I mean, I wouldn't even touch this after literally 9 45. I I'd think done. Yeah, I think like. I mean, I, I agree with everything you just said, right? You know, you have the initial, you know, go for it again. That's okay. Smart cover. Once we reclaim red to green, that's a signal for you to say, this stock is strong. It should have rejected red to green. And, you know, I get that it should have, but after that 870 stop, that's where you got to leave it alone. 